Hi everyone, it's the History Nerd. Back for some more action with the Confederacy. Huzzah! What, what, indeed. Alright. So, first off, I noticed something. I was doing some, um... I was doing some sound testing. Because since I've started doing these Let's Plays... Uh, the biggest annoyance I've had is the static in the background. Um, I'm trying to get rid of that, and I'm fairly confident it's just my crappy microphone. So I do want to apologize for that. Um, I know if you if you crank the, the sound, it's kind of annoying. So, uh, apologies. Uh, eventually I plan on getting a better mic, but that is a wit little bit in the future. Anyway, long story short, while I was doing the uh, testing, I noticed Easter Island doesn't have anyone on it. And I was like, what? That's a colony. That's a colony we need to get. So, um, we'll keep that going, we'll keep that going. Screw the immigrants to Virginia. We don't care, right? People are going to go there anyway. So, why can we not? We need a better life rating. How do we get that? Is that... Where is that? Supply limits... This is the thing. Like, I don't know where we get that. Nope. Nope. Culture, maybe? Uh, aha! There we go. Okay, so we have just literally started anti-rationalism. Which I think is commerce. Nope. Am I blind? I am blind indeed. So, screw that! We're going for nationalism and imperialism. We'll have that done in March, okay. Hopefully we'll be able to snag Easter Island by then. Um, it looks like nobody else really cares about it. So, we should be able to effectively get that. Oh, stupid cat! Out of my way! Now, on to other things. <clears throat> Watching us slowly hemorrhage money, which is always fun. It's like the Confederate pastime. Just in absolutely no no position whatsoever to be fighting. We should we should drop that down a bit. So, on to the comments. Tejmaster1. Uh, yeah, if it's going to turn into oil, let's conquer it. Um, why not, right? Like, do 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 do. All of this. I'm thinking we can make all that confederate quite, quite easily. Now, oh, the French control it. So, I have a feeling, as long as we don't piss off the French with who we declare war on, which we won't. Oh, look at this. Look at this. We can just storm in here and take all of this. Okay, Brunei, kind of on hold. Um, it would have meant war with America. We're preparing for war with America. But in the meantime, we can snag this, and considering we've got just under 20 years left in gameplay time, uh, it's probably not a bad idea. So... Assuming these three armies will be enough, uh, the only thing is my freaking economy, right? It's it it can't handle a war, which is depressing. I want it to <laughs> just fight, damn it, fight. Anyway, we'll figure that out. Um. Once we get our home defense fleet built. 
So, yeah. We're going to snag those Middle Eastern colonies first. First and foremost, that's our objective. Uh, Brunei is going to have to go on hold and will probably wind up being a never happen nice plan too bad. Uh, so that's that's too sad. Too sad. Too bad. But the unfortunate thing is I just don't have the time. I think I dicked around too much in the middle of the game. Once I got... Once I secured independence from America, I think I just, like... Screwed up somewhere. I'm not sure. But something happened. Something happened, and it wasn't good. Nothing to do there. Naval directionism. Don't really care too much about that. Integral rail system, why not? We could use better railroads. 20 years behind. Alright. You, no more. Easter Island. Where'd you go? There we go. Yep. What? Argentina? No. Uh-uh. No, you don't. So I'm not sure how this is going to work. Um, I don't know how to speed this up. Right? Like, 1921, 625, like, they're gonna... Oh, that angers me. That angers me so much. How do you boost that? Can I put two down? No, you can only have one national focus. So... Arg! Oh, that's frustrating. We had our chance at Argentina. Like, they're in my sphere. Why can't I just go to them and be like, hey, quit freaking colonizing? I'm the sphere leader, damn it, Argentina. But I can't, I can't do anything about that. Arg. Well, that, that sucks. That super sucks. Immigration. I was so hopeful, too. Just... Mm, it looked so possible. And now it isn't. <clears throat> We're still building away, eh? Yeah, that's... That's gonna be one hell of a home defense fleet. Alright, well, with that being the case... Uh... Screw it. We're going to war! We, we should let that build up. I don't care anymore. We don't have the time. Game's over in 20 years. Give or take. So... We need these guys back up to, uh, back up to full power. And we're going to go on a Middle Eastern adventure. Because those always turn out well. Oh, sure. We could use more allies. More tractors. So, I just want to see... <clears throat> how do these work? What are they, anyway? I think they're... Um, like, attachments? I think the armors... Armor are attachments that you just add in, like... Uh, or maybe not? I don't know. Alright, lucky 13th. It's the, the 10th, the 12th, and the 13th. Right on. Oh, we have to do this individually. Load. 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 First things first. Navy, you can sail to Italy, just to give us a little bit of a break. Recoup some of our losses. Because we always lose people on sea voyages. Which again, I could probably fix enhancing my naval supply range, but, you know, 
whatever. So, load them back up. Take our fleet. And, uh, I think we'll hit Yemen first and then just kind of whoop, go all over the place. So head on into the Red Sea. Where we're apparently running out of supplies. Okay. You there, sir. Justify a war. Oh. Damn it, I forgot about this bit. Okay. You see, we shouldn't have to create a justification for this. Thinking of the time frame. I mean, even with it being 1918, we should just be able to be like, yo, we're a world power, we're a great power, we're the freaking Confederate States of America, we just showed up in the Red Sea, we shouldn't have to wait 128 days to declare war on you, you're an uncivilized nation, we're gonna conquer the crap out of you, like that, so, who knows. Okay, so we got an infamy hit. Whatever. Just get there, please. Why aren't we getting... Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Pause this shit. Paraguay didn't. Peru. Ecuador. Colombia. Brazil. Bolivia, Argentina, Nicaragua, Honduras, Haiti, Guatemala, Dominican Republic, Costa Rica, Switzerland didn't, that's not a surprise, Austria did, yay! I wonder if Mexico will. Um, we should, we should look into that. Mexico. How come you don't join in? This doesn't make sense! Why is that impossible? They're in my sphere of influence. They should. I don't get that. Never have I... Just so confusing. Okay. Whatever. Um. Right. We're gonna set a rally point... There. For all of those guys. Now who's laughing, America? Uh, that's not what I wanted. Diplomacy. Oh, we are so close. Although they haven't mobilized. So... Oh, come on. So where can we hit the Americans? Where are they? Close to here. <laughs> we could make a run for Brunei now, I suppose. Because uh, they don't have much in the Pacific. They don't even have Hawaii. Suckers. <laughs> so, yeah. How's this coming along? <sighs> so ticked at Argentina. Words can't describe how frustrating that is. Um. So, yeah, with... with this much over here, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, perhaps, we do a little northern landing or something, right? Like, we could, we could swing something like that, that would still be French, right? Yeah. We could swing something like that. So while we take care of that, just swing around and land in like... Long Island or something? That might not be a bad idea. Okay. On to the boats. On to the boats. On to the boats. Give me the boats. In fact, landing in Massachusetts might... or Massachusetts Bay... 
One of these, maybe New Bedford, Providence, or Boston, that might be better. It looks like the fortifications in that area are a bit less. Ooh, take out that factory in Hartford. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, so as is to be expected, they're hitting... The, oh, they want Oklahoma. And we're not going to let them get that wheat and oil, so... Let's do that. That sounds helpful. Mexico, what would be even more helpful if you freaking joined the war with us? Okay. So it looks like we both have the ability to attack with gas, but neither of us have gas defense. That's a little bit of a, of a piss-off. Hold on, 22nd. Head in, reinforce. What? Why? Why are you leaving your fortifications? Nobody... Don't leave Vicksburg, damn it! You can. Seriously, what the hell? Where are you going? Wh <laughs> Why? Oh, no, 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 that's fine. Okay, hold on. I don't know why Knoxville decided to get up and go. Uh, but all my other defensive armies are hanging around. That's good. Uh, we're not actually doing that, are we? That's... Can we just evenly split these? Balance. Uh, close enough to balance. Good enough for me. Okay. That's massive. Uh, yeah, we can merge those guys up. so confused as to what the hell's going on. Why... Whatever, go up there. We need the reinforcements. And you, not really big enough to do much. The two of you are, though. Good. Not quite ready. We're going to need this to go even slower for this war. What? <sighs> didn't... didn't... didn't I have units there? Like, I specifically told units to stay there. Ah, I don't know what's going on. Like, my armies seem to have this mind of their own. Don't go there. It's a freaking stay. Right? Like, are people trying to get... I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. This is getting crazy. Okay. We're gonna need more, more units, more units. No, don't go through a battle to a battle. Just hold in there, hold in there. Oh. Um, freaking America, and we definitely. 
definitely need to reinforce up here. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Okay, screw the rest of them. We need to get my navy out. And the landing force is almost there. Yes! Go Yankee hunting! Yes, that's good. Blockade! Blockade! Oh god, come on, just... What? <laughs> Where's... There. I don't know why I'm so freaking confused and failing at all this military crap. But, man, this invasion is not not going too well. Well, I mean, I guess the invasion is going great, but... <clears throat> okay, good, good, good. This little invasion is my only hope, really, of being able to pull off any sort of success. Without Mexico, which should be there, really. That's failed. That's pretty much failed. Okay, well, we can forget about going to Yemen. Uh, uh, this is not gonna go well. Okay. Reinforcements. Get on up into there. Oh, fuck it. Pardon my French. <sighs> okay, well, um... <laughs> well, we're losing a war. Let's go ahead and uh, address some more of the comments. Well, this is, this is going on. Uh, do, 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 do. Twin Dot! Yeah. Yeah, that's Black Adder. It certainly reminds me of Black Adder, though. Great show, by the way. Uh, I remember watching that uh, as a kid. That, that was an awesome show. Jeez. Part of the reason I love British television, that and Faulty Towers. Grew up watching both of those. Hilarious stuff. Uh, now, Blowfly, Blowfly80. Interesting comment uh, about military sizes. Uh, I 100% agree with you at the moment. Like, look at this. Just getting slaughtered. Yeah, come on back. Um, yeah. I am certainly no uh, heavy armament. I'm certainly no expert Victorian player, but holy crapola, like... No, that's what I was looking for. 
what the hell? Right? Awesome hyperinflation. Oh, okay. What do you want? What do you want? You want Oklahoma? Fine. Okay. Demobilize. Whew. That could have been a hell of a lot worse. Good news, if people were voting um, conservative because we were, quote, too damn successful, uh, we're not anymore. So that's a thing. Uh, yeah, we'll give the liberals some militancy, and um, we're going to have a lot of military forces to rebuild, I would imagine. Like, wow. The first army got decimated, absolutely decimated. The army of Northern Virginia isn't even in Richmond anymore. Where am I sending this fleet? Uh, well, we've got the Casabella against Yemen now. So that might not be a bad idea. <clears throat> so, we'll just, we'll go base them in Italy and let them rebuild themselves. Jeez, that's ugly. Okay. Thankfully, we didn't lose any of our very effective defensive line. What the hell? Oh, yeah, you want you want an alliance when you're just going to say no? You Mexico, what the hell? Impossible. Why? Can somebody, please, who understands this game, tell me why I cannot make an alliance with Mexico? Because I haven't got a clue. D d in my sphere of influence, they like me. Uh, they're not allied with anyone else. I, I, I can't see. Like... Why? Why does that say impossible? Is it because I hold territory of theirs? That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, yeah, if you could let me know, that would be that would be awesome. Um please and thank you. I'm at a loss. Now <sighs> why do we why are two in Lake Charles, right? I just more socialists. And maybe they'll vote properly. What? Did I not tell you to go? Wrestling with the interface today. What else? Have I got any other... I don't. So we're missing an army in Fredericksburg. We're missing an army in Knoxville. But that, I don't know. I just don't know anymore, guys. Uh, okay. Well, that'll be military. 16 infantry? Uh, so... Undo... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 1, 2, 3, 4. I don't need any in South America. There we go. Add a little bit of flavor there. Now. Thank you. Cut down on some place I'll never go to. Do, 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 do. So, yeah. Why? They've even lost you a damn war. You're still like, the Whigs are okay. They've fled the country forever and only had a couple of economic crises, a couple of, or a single lost war, but hey, you know, we're... We're still... I guess, really, we, we still are very successful. And... That failed war with America actually kind of catapulted us up into fourth place. You can see that's based entirely on our military power. Really. Uh, industrial... We're horrid. Horribly unindustrialized. Yeah. Who are you? Paraguay, sure, you'll just not want to fight, but why not? Yeah, that's a thing. So hold on, why... What? Okay, well, at least we've got a new backup army coming. Unless somewhere in here we've got another unit, right? That's that's hiding. Doesn't look like it is. Anybody else down here? No, okay. State capitalism, damn it. I need to take over the freaking economy. I need to get us back on footing. At the very least, open those bankrupt factories to give our out-of-work people some place to go. Like, look at this. Our highest unemployment, 27,580 people are unemployed in Louisiana. Where Louisiana? Louisiana. Okay, they don't have any closed factories. Uh, what about Mississippi? Mississippi has a closed artillery factory, and they've got 73,000 unemployed people. You would figure if you open that factory... Maybe some of those people would get get some work, right? Like, I don't get it. In Amelia, right? My lovely little Italian place. Half, half, of, over half of the population is unemployed, and we've got a closed factory. Open that factory. Anyway. I'll let the debate take its own bloody course. Here we got... Yeah, railroads... Artillery... Oh, one more infantry and an artillery. Good. So yeah, that should be like that. Come on. There we go. <sighs> Frustration. Frustration. Flying Circus Doctrine. Maybe that's what we need to do here. Maybe. I don't even care about freaking money anymore. Screw it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We'll need 10. Uh, military. 10. 10 airplanes. Alright, so... Oh, why don't we just go 15, and then, yeah, that'll cover us both. Uh, 
Interesting. So with, uh, Revanchism? Do, 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 whatever. Uh, now that we've lost land, uh, this should go up. And it should cause people to be a little bit angry, because we've lost land. Uh... Yes, we will, and we will spit on every single American athlete. Damn Yankees. Full citizenship. Good news! We've got our trenches built, so that's a thing. That's a good thing. How's our military doing over here? Back up to full strength? Guess what, boys? Going on the boats. Going on boats. Going on, going on, going on the boats. Yemen, you jerk. At least I know now the US won't be able to declare war on me. Uh, establish protectorate. Do we wanna... I don't think I'm gonna bother, to be honest. They'll come along, but I don't... I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference. Alright. So this is important. While we may have lost the war against America, we are showing the Confederate people that we are indeed still a world power, that we are indeed still a force to be reckoned with in global politics by conquering a uncivilized desert nation. That's what we do. Nice. Uh, there. There. And for good measure, uh, there. Go! Bring it, Yemen! We will fight you everywhere. Hmm. I should have dropped two down, or at least taken eight in as well. Oh well. Lessons learned. All right, and the basement 10. Terribly sorry to hear about the lack of Victoria, but you know what? Let the history nerd provide. Uh, have a feeling we're going to wind up finishing this playthrough today. This one might wind up being a long one, but you know what? Whatevs. We'll we'll enjoy it. No, there we go. Uh <laughs> Yes. A great war experience. Thanks, Black Adder. And there we go. So, we'll move you down there and then take those guys and push them forward. And now we can drop him into port. Yeah, that was a quick battle, wasn't it? Send them that way. Oh, decisions, decisions, decisions. What do we want? The most is healthcare, again. That's what you guys want, huh? That's what you guys will get. So I was thinking, um, back to Blowfly80, when you were talking about the election stuff, I was thinking possibly what I had was first past the post, and that was why we were still seeing the uh, continual conservative win, but that isn't the case. So, you, who knows why the socialists keep voting conservative. It's 
I, mean, I think it's it's been an issue with Victoria since Victoria came out. Um, it, I don't know. It just it's it's weird, right? Because like it doesn't make any sense. The way politics work in this game make no sense. True that that is very true to life, but you know. This is a video game. It should be true to life. Alright, so now while this war is winding down, I think we're going to go ahead and start one with Oman as well. Uh, justify a war. Acquire a state, eh? How many states have you got? It's all just one. It's all just Oman. Good. So I think we'll go ahead and acquire Oman. Or do we want... Goats, goats, goats. Wheat, wheat. Goats. Goats, goats. Wheat. I would imagine, though, this would turn into some sort of rich oil-producing nation at a at eventually. Oman's gonna be easier to take though. Go to diplomacy, justify a war, we're gonna acquire a state. That's gonna take a year. That's fine. Peace offer from Yemen? No. <laughs> Why would we go for peace now? We've got your country. Reactionaries? Reactionaries against what? No. Uh... We can't even produce our artillery because we're out of wine and liquor. We're the third largest superpower. Screw off, Yemen. We're the third largest superpower in the world, and we can't get a hold of wine and liquor. That doesn't make sense. So this is this is the frustrating thing about this game. I love this game, but there's just little details about it that don't work, and it's just annoying. Like, why wouldn't the Confederacy be able to build artillery? Because we don't have wine? That doesn't make sense. Alright, let's move this fleet to a more effective location. Is that Yemen as well? Load up, my friend. We've got an island to take. Uh, no. Let's see. Propose a peace. They're still not going to accept it. Okay. They should accept it soon. And in fact, let's actually blockade this island instead. That should speed up our conquest of it. No. Now that you've got no chance of actually... You still won't. I have to actually physically take that island from you. Okay. What now? Decline. Peace declined. Just, just stop it. 
Come on! First tractor in El Paso. Lovely. Thank you for notifying the head of state about that. Vos Beast! You're damn well going to accept that now. Suckers. Okay. Onto the ships, and that way. Lovely! We are definitely on a mission to civilize. Now, speaking of civilizing, whoop, how did this go? Oh, it's so close. <gasps> We're gonna get it! Yes! Yes! Ha ha! Look at that! Victory to the Confederacy! We've got a colony in the Pacific. Woohoo! Alright guys, um, I am going to continue doing the playthrough, but in the interest of keeping these videos at an uploadable size, I'm going to leave this episode here now, so um, thank you guys. Wait, no, let me get this order in the right way. Thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. Leave your comments, questions, concerns, jokes, thoughts, musings below. Uh, thank you all very, very much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.